This is Twit. I want to get Lori's take on this because she spent all week with it. And that was the, I guess, surprise announcement. I'm going to call it that of Power Beats Pro, which come with the H1 chip, just like AirPods, but have a bunch of features that the AirPods don't. Yeah, this was kind of an exciting out of nowhere kind of thing. Um, I, it's a pretty impressive looking little device. Um, Beats, they, they're they known for making a good set of headphones. They're also known for making headphones that are bass heavy. So obviously, that I don't think this is going to change. I think they're going to still have that sort of standard bass heavy sound to them. If that bothers you, you probably don't want to get yourself a set of Beats. But everything else about these earbuds look fantastic. They have the same H1 chip. Um, as the AirPods 2. So it has the faster processor, the shorter lag time, um, better connectivity to each of your devices. Um, just the difference, the AirPods for me, the difference between AirPods 1 and AirPods 2, it might seem insignificant, but it's those little things about being able to quickly connect to a phone call or quickly switch over to your Mac that have been sort of pain points in the past that are now almost completely allevi alleviated. There's still a little bit of lag, but it's much, much smaller than it used to be. And these Beats, Power Beats Pro, have that same H1 chip. Plus, that means that it comes with support for Siri, voice activated Siri, so that you can ask Siri to do something like change the volume of the of your music or change the playlist or something like that without having to do any tapping. But if you want to tap on something, uh, Power Beats Pro <laughs> do come with controls. So there's, hardware um, crunchy controls. Yes, there's actual <laughs> little. Um, playback controls right on the headphones that will allow you to press a button to um, change the volume or fast forward or something like that. So you don't have to be sitting in in a uh, you know in a quiet room and and announce that you want Siri to do something for you. You can do that with the controls on the on the headphones without even having to worry about going to your pocket or something like that. So it's they seem really great. I'm I'm definitely getting one as soon as they come out, which is sometime in mid-May. We don't have any specific date. We just know that it's coming out in May. Um, so it, they're about $50 more expensive than the most expensive AirPods. They're $249, which the AirPods 2, if you get it with the wireless charging case, is two hundred or sorry, $199. The thing about uh, Parabeats Pro, though, they do not come with a charging, a wireless charging case. It's a standard charging case that uses a uh, lightning port. So you're really kind of spending something closer to... Um, Let's see if I can do the math in my head. I the, uh, the um, AirPods are one forty nine. Is that right? So a hundred dollars. One ninety nine with the case. Yeah, but I forget what they are by themselves. Yeah. So I think it's somewhere close to a hundred dollars more if you're getting them sort of spec by spec. Um, the di the differences between the two. Um, of course, we won't know how good the sound quality is until we get them in our ears. I'm excited about the um, customization and the ear tips. Uh, Air, AirPods are uncomfortable for me. They they don't have any sort of flexibility or pliability. So even when just softly resting them in my ear, um, it starts to hurt that that sort of the outer edge of my ear. Um, so I'm looking forward to being able to use the Powerbeats Pro because of the customized ear tips that will allow me to kind of decide which size is right for me and maybe push it in a little bit further without feeling the pain points of having something in my ear for a long period of time. Um, there's that, so the ear tips and, uh, I'm also looking forward to the sound quality of this. I do actually appreciate the heavy bass sound that comes along with listening to Beats branded headphones. I like to just have that sort of extra oomph in my music. Uh, sometimes it's, it's a negative effect. Sometimes when you're trying to listen to some older, like heavy metal guitar, heavy music, it can kind of muddy the music a little, but for the most part, I've had a, a good experience with Beats, um, s s like the way they equalize their sound. So I think it's going to be a good a good addition. And colors, oh, and Andy. Colors, but not colors. purple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not uh, well, purple. That's it. Uh, you just but go to Home purple. Depot. You sort that out very quickly. But that's it's. I, I was surprised by the price, though. It's by the time you get to two hundred fifty dollars, you're going to you're you should be comparing it to other wireless headphones that are $250 and what are you it it's hard to it's hard for me to figure out what they're delivering for what would be an easy 100 bucks over of an any excellent pair uh, of in ear uh, completely wireless bluetooth buds uh, and but if all they can do is promise you that they'll be more re, uh, more resistant to sweat and rain than the original airpods that are not really good at resisting either one of them I'm sure that there'll be people who'll want to get it. 
there's also in uh, Lori, that's a, that's the exact reason why I just can't enjoy any pair of Beats headphones. It's like if I want more bass, I've got a little slider on my phone that will let me give myself <laughs> more bass. But when I'm listening to the, those pieces of music that it's just so bass heavy that you can't focus on anything uh, other other than the bass line. It's just really, really bad. The, uh, but the, the but the biggest failure, I think, is going to be with the in-ear design. That is a big feature that, that you're not the only person who doesn't like, who finds it really uncomfortable to have the, have those uh, uh, the AirPods in all the time. It just you, all you need is like one piece of cartilage somewhere in your ear that is making any contact with that at a pressure point, and you're out after 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. But it, the the signature feature of the Beats headphones isn't just the the bass. It's uh, playing your music at a reasonable volume, but still everybody else on the subway <laughs> car can hear exactly every note that you're hearing. So I hope that you know, it, it <laughs> you, we can still annoy everyone around us while still having Beats headphones. I don't know if it's possible with those silicone ear tips. He's making yeah, Dre cry. Like I can just see Dre crying right now. <laughs> there's a there's a point to what you're saying, Andy. Which I, there's so many features that I keep forgetting to include in this, which is they they are noise noise isolating. So they will. Yeah. Um, it's not. So noise sorry. What's the difference? Noise, yeah. What is the difference? Because people were really confused about noise canceling versus noise isolating. Right. So noise canceling. I I read this and I'm trying to see if I can get my my memory to work right. But noise canceling, <laughs> if I if I recall, um, it actually. You, it uses um, uh, a, a technology inside of the headphone itself. There's technology that actually, like um, under the under the wire, there's secret. It's like puts active, in these right? Masking. Well, there is a difference between noise canceling and active oh, noise canceling. The, the, <laughs> the differences between those two are that you can actually manually make it noise canceling or not noise canceling. But okay. generally, noise canceling means that there's actual technology inside the bud itself that is cutting out the sound outside. There's like a little white noise or something that's hidden deep inside there that's actually cutting out. It's blocking noise from happening, whereas noise isolating just means that the design of the earbud itself is designed to um, not allow outside noise in. That's mm. the main difference between well, the Well, isolation two. versus computational isolation. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. That's a much more technological term than no, what I No, I was just, just making about, a but... dumb joke. Mm. <laughs> Can I just, speaking of dumb jokes, I just make an engineering note that technology in the butt should be one of the show titles for today's show. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I I, I I like to see. I I love these silicone bud uh, earplugs because it's uh, uh it's if if you really want to make sure you're not annoyed by other people on the flight or on the train or whatever, one way to do it is with a hundred dollars worth of uh, cons uh, technology to, to up the price. Another way is to just turn them into earplugs that will also feed audio of your choice in there. Uh, so. It's it's weird. I, I, like I'm I'm really keen to see what someone like Jim Dalrymple thinks about this. People who are really intense music listeners, two thousand uh, dollar AirPod listeners. Yeah, it's it, it, I I don't get it. I, I don't think I don't think it's silly if there are people who like what they like and they uh, and they're willing to pay extra if they can afford it to have the the best experience possible. For me, I have to admit that above the I can tell the difference between. Uh, uh, thirty dollar earphones and hundred dollar earphones, easy. I can tell the difference between a hundred dollar earphones and two hundred, little maybe two hundred fifty dollar earphones if I have the right music. It's 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 always what what gets it for me, whether it's a speaker or an earphone. It's not general how good does it sound. It's the I'm listening to it for like three or four days, and finally I hear that piece of music where oh. There is actually a murmur of crowd noise that I should be hearing that I'm not hearing. Or, oh, these <laughs> there's, there's actually there's actually a variation in frequency in the way in that note that she's singing, but it's just when when there's just a point where the speaker just says, I'm out. I can't keep up. <laughs> just come back to me in a, in, a, in a second or two. It's hard for me to figure out how to recommend uh, these audio devices that go above a certain level because it's like Okay, if uh, like if I, I'm sure that if I never ever like listened to a live concert in my life or left the house uh, and didn't damage my hearing above that certain level that everybody above the age of thirty gets their ha their 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 <laughs> hearing damaged, uh, it would be significant. But let's see how they market this stuff. It's <laughs> I shall learn. I shall learn mightily. I assume. I think in in the case of these particular headphones, these Beats Power Beats Pro. 
um, though they do have the term pro in them. I don't think that you're spending the extra hundred dollars <laughs> because you're getting a pro quality sound. What? No, no slight on beats. <laughs> but they, these are not engineering quality head, he, headphones. No. That's that's those are much more expensive than two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I think you're paying that extra money for the for the brand. It's yeah. you know it's Levi's, it's Apple, it's well, the brand. Pro you're means like fifty or hundred dollars more, right? So when you add pro to something, it just <laughs> like it's like a dark interface. If there's like certain things you do to a product. 